Hey guys, thanks for checking out the World of Barbecue. My name is Jeff with Hallboy Barbecue. Um, I have had about a dozen or more people ask me how a reverse flow cabinet smoker works. And if I would go into a little more depth and explain um, how this works. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is tips and tricks and I'm gonna show you guys how a reverse flow cabinet smoker works. And it just so happens to be that little big D's right there that you've seen me uh, cooking on already. So check this out. I'm gonna try and do this as quickly as I possibly can because it's pretty darn cold out and it's dark. But um, this is a reverse flow smoker. Uh, it just happens to be a big D's, but you'll get a good idea of how these things work through this one. This is perfect for what we're doing. So this is a reverse flow cabinet style cooker. Let's open her up. Okay, we got gaskets. Um, everything's pretty normal. I bought a smoker. Um, I'm gonna try and explain this to you guys um, as if you've never seen a smoker before <laughs> all right I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, use a bunch of terminology that maybe somebody doesn't understand because I want everybody to understand what's up and down with these things because they're pretty cool so this is a charcoal basket we put charcoal in here sometimes not all a basket if we're doing short cooks sometimes the entire basket if we're doing longer ones Obviously, this thing needs to be cleaned up, all right? Go easy on me. Um, but, excuse me, just had dinner, so hang in there with me. <laughs> Maybe some burping, but I'll keep it discreet. Um, this is where we put charcoal. Uh, we put wood on top of the charcoal as it burns to smolder and create smoke. That's how this works. Some people will um, <clears throat> put logs and stuff in there. I don't, I use straight up charcoal. Matter of fact, I use lump, okay? So I'm gonna refer to this as the charcoal chamber or the heat source chamber, whatever, okay? And this won't be a very long explanation, so we won't have to worry about terminology so much, but this is what I would call the charcoal chamber. So some cookers will have the heat source like this come directly up through here. This one does not. This one has a quarter inch plate right here. And this is what we would, this is why we refer to it as a reverse flow, okay? So instead of the heat coming directly in here, it's a um, indirect heat. And that plate right there is welded and sealed all the way around the cooking chamber. This is the cooking chamber, all right? So this is a pan right here. Some people put water in it. Um, basically what it is, what it does for me is it catches drippings, okay? So, it is this cooker in particular is insulated with one inch insulation all the way around the cooker itself so let me get my hand in here so you can see how thick this stuff is all right see how thick that is pretty darn thick wall so one inch insulation and then it has a false wall right here so this would be the cooking chamber would be the false wall so how this works is we got heat source down here smoke so heat and smoke comes up through into the false wall all right comes up through here and into the cooking chamber amongst the meat and everything else whatever you have in here and then it goes down and into it's the only way it can exit into that back there okay see that goes in there comes up and out the stack so that's how that works so as you can see right here you can see that's a false wall so that's how a reverse flow cabinet smoker works that's how they keep their heat so well now let's shut this guy well you can see I might as well show you all this stuff you can see right here that's the opening and this would be your intake for your air intake oops oh crap there we go this would be your air intake so you can slide this back and forth if you wanted to do it just without a guru or anything, any kind of controls or anything like that. Or you can put your controls on right here. Now, so that's what it looks like with just the cooking chamber door open. Now let's close this guy up. And that's the entire cooker. So that's how a reverse flow cabinet smoker works. This one has a uh, thing right here that you can put your leads into, which is nice. And then you just put tin foil around it to seal it up. So that's how it works. Um, hopefully you guys um, understand all of that. Hopefully it wasn't too quick, but uh, there's, I mean, they're really simple. There's not much to them. So 
Um, just people, people don't know how they work, so totally understandable. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your night, and uh, go check out some other videos of ours. We've got some good stuff coming up, and I'll see you guys soon.